ASMR Sports. Back in action after quite a delay here. Just been super busy, haven't had any time to make videos. Um, but I do have a few things um, to get caught up on. One of them is the uh, Marlins video um, that I have gathered up the cards for. And I uh, just need to sit down and go through those. Um, today we're going to do a couple things. Um, in terms of opening stuff, I've got a, couple, a few uh, UFC um, hanger packs that uh, I grabbed it. Actually, where did I get these? I think I yeah, ordered these online from Target a while back. These are Don Russ, um, so pretty low end stuff. But I get a lot of requests for UFC, so I uh, thought I'd grab those and see what's inside. <laughs> um, our uh, friend Hudson, who's uh, a local to the area where I live, um, placed an order for a few things, including some <coughs> some supplies and a few packs here, so we'll uh, open those up per his request. Um, before I do that, I just want to show you guys a couple of things. I just got these in, and you know, I'm pretty terrible about like listing for sale the stuff that I get in from my distributor, which you know, is not a whole lot, but still I wish I were better at it in case anybody wanted this stuff or wanted to open it, because I feel like a lot of it I would be interested in opening for people um, if they had a, a hankering. Um, Anyways, um, let me just look up what I've got these uh, up for, but, all right, so two things just came in. One is this um, Onyx Vintage 2022, and I've, um, I've uh, got lots of Onyx stuff. They've started doing football and basketball, but they started with baseball, and I've always felt like their baseball products were pretty solid. I've, I've gotten tons of like really good autos out of them. Now the cards aren't really worth that much, but it's fun to have like an auto of whatever, Marco Luciano or Julio Rodriguez, um, guys like that. So I don't know. I was kind of excited to see these um, come in, but um, <laughs> as usual, my distributor has uh, got me totally over a barrel and um, like I, I paid like 44 or 45 bucks a box for these, and I have five of them, um, and of course, you know, Blowout's got them at, at $42.95, so I thought I'd sell them at $42.95 in case anybody has an interest. These would be kind of fun to open on um, videos, but, you know, all the top prospects are in here, I think, like, most of them are, and plus there's, um, like, Otani autos in here, and um, Ken Griffey Jr. has some autos in here, so, you know, a few select veterans are in here, but I don't know, I think those are always fun, and even if you get, like, a lesser prospect auto, it's kind of, it's kind of fun, I think, to get those in, oh, man, I don't have the, oh, they're there, okay, I think it's kind of a wacky thing, uh, you know, there's a lot of, like, autographed photos, autographed helmets, autographed jersey products that come in, you know, like a box of, that you don't know what you're going to get in it, and uh, those things are relatively available, um, you know, to me, as opposed to, like, the Hot Tops and Panini products, so anyways, I buy a few, of these. I, honestly, I think I'm just, like, starting to wind down my relationship with my distributor, because it's, um, it's just not worth it um, to buy, you know, every, every, like, Couple, a couple times a month, basically, I get, you know, three or four hundred dollars of absolute trash like this, and, uh, I know I'm really selling this stuff, right? You know, and the Onyx stuff, which, I mean, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. If you're, if you're looking for kind of cheap thrills, um, those are good, but, like, it's not, it's not, I don't know, that stuff doesn't sell very quickly. Um, it does sell. I very well might be losing money on the deal. So, you know, you buy that stuff to A, have something to sell, and B, to get credit. Um, with your distributor, so you can get, you know, the tops, chrome, and the pr pr prism stuff, and, um, 
anyways, I bought like, I think I bought like, I don't know, $8,000 of just absolute garbage, like baseball re restock stuff, like stuff from, I don't know, or like five, ten years ago that they had for sale. Of course, they were selling it for, you know, like basically uh, above retail pricing, like it's higher than eBay pricing. Maybe it's like 1% lower than blowout pricing, so you buy a bunch of this crap at basically more than you could ever sell it for, hoping that you'll get some, they'll throw you a few bones, and, you know, you get like, I don't know, two or three hobby boxes of some soccer product that maybe you can sell at, you know, 50% over what you get for it, but at one box, like, uh, it's not making up for $8,000 of trash that you bought. So, I'm thinking of just giving up dealing with that distributor. Um, I haven't done the math, but I'm sure, I'm sure that um, it's not been worth it. And I'm also sure that I've spent probably like $50,000, $60,000 with them. stuff that you can sell for a 50 to, I don't know, sometimes 500%, you know, more than what you bought it for. But the market is in a very different place now than it was, you know, three, four years ago when I signed up. And uh, these guys just, I don't know, don't come through. Okay, so anyways, that was a long way of saying this is one of the products that, you know, it's easy to get. You can buy as much of this stuff as you want. You know, because it's probably something where, I don't know, maybe you get your money back. Like, if you got any of these photos that's on the front here, I'm sure there's some value. The far exceeds the purchase price and the purchase price of these. Let's see what I got these up for. Uh, I think below it had these for $49.95, and I've got them for $45, bucks, basically, $44.95. Um, so these ones I got a slightly better deal on, so I actually am able to, um, offer a pretty significant discount, but, anyways, there's one photo in here of a current or former baseball player, and you see some of the guys on the front, Willie Mays, Tom Seaver, Reggie Jackson, Nolan Ryan, Ichiro, Aaron Judge, Hank Aaron, so there's definitely some big names in here, you know, what the odds are, I have no idea, um, actually there's some odds on the back, odds of finding Grand Slam ticket, 1 in 185, Hall of Fame, 1 in 3.75, so you got a decent chance at Hall of Fame released, uh, 1 in 10.5, Police in History, 1 in 2.1 for Diamond Favorites, so yeah, I don't know what those would include, but, anyways, if you want to buy a mystery, um, autograph baseball photo. This is your chance. 45 bucks. I'd love to see what's in these if anybody wants to open and request or buy one and request that I open on air or that Onyx Vintage stuff. So um, I'll post a link for both these products in the description for this video. Let's, um, let's get into the stuff for Hudson. Thanks for the order, Hudson. Appreciate it, my man. Here, man. I know he's a guy that I've always thought 
has uh, pretty good prospects and there's a lot of people who are fans of his in the collecting space but uh, you know he's had some really good years hasn't quite put it all together for a full season I don't think but um, you know, he's been pretty close and this year might be the year he just kind of breaks out as one of the big big bats in the game Yelich Correa Garrett Cole Ozzy Albies Noah Syndergaard Shoyotani and Ichiro Duel something and Max Scherzer so let's uh I'm just gonna put these back in the packs so they're nice and protected sent that name because Jim Kelly is machine gun Kelly so you just get your dang garbage rap or whatever I, lo I love rap but whatever machine gun Kelly is doing is probably not what I would consider rap I don't even know what his like type of music is it's like does he sing I think he is a rapper isn't he?
that's true in, in the UFC, but Robert Whitaker is the one we've got here. I will probably save that to look up a little bit later. Um, here's another insert, Valentina Shevchenko, crunch time. Francis Nakanu, magicians. And we've got three greens, which are probably exclusive to this, like, retail product. Arnold Allen, Song Yedong, and uh, a Marvel, so take that one out as well. Sadiq Yusuf, Henry Gehudo, Alexi Olenek, Rodolfo Vieira, Walt Harris, Rashad Evans, Gregor Gillespie, Rafael Asuncao, Matt Schnell, Forrest Griffin, and uh, Muslim Slikov. Um, I wanted to see how many like rated rookies I got because I felt like it was only like just yeah just one, so not many rookies coming out of this stuff, which is always a bummer for you, really, because uh, you know I love my rookies. search are all on Conor McGregor. There's uh, a John Jones base of this card for a buck fifty. Let me just change over to sold here real quick. Yeah, so these these really are not um, valuable it seems. There's like, you know, a buck, two bucks, three bucks. Um, did I just see? Okay. It's like a pink version of this card. That's a press proof. One for eight bucks plus a buck fifty shipping, so that's a bit rarer than this just green parallel. Um and I'm not seeing any for Robert Whitaker. Yeah, so he's pretty much worthless. Oh well. This card went for a buck nineteen plus four seventy shipping. So maybe it's a three, four dollar card, I guess. I think these packs, I can't, I can't remember at all what I paid for, but I think they're like eight bucks, seven ninety nine. like um yeah <laughs> the, so the guy's um channel is called relaxing ASMR altogether he has 153,000 subscribers he does a lot of like pen stuff he collects pens watches but he's, he does a, a he's got a few um, sports card videos and I, I really uh, enjoy those. Uh, something about his voice is extremely relaxing. He does like softly spoken. But for my money, he's got, you know, one of the most relaxing sort of sounding voices. And I usually prefer like whispers. That's my whispering videos. Um, but yeah, some of his voice is very just soothing. So anyways, check him out. I'll try to link if I can remember to do it. But if you just search for relaxing ASMR altogether, he's the pretty much
watch only in first channel you'll see come up so paul craig amanda nunes i, I might look that one up oh wow is that another amanda nunes it is so i believe, I believe she's pretty good i'm not sure how she's doing lately but Uh, this set, this is the first time um, that Panini has done a Donruss UFC set. <laughs> this sold for like $2 shipped. Um, and my question is, are they going to do like optic UFC? Because I don't think they've ever done that. Interesting, this went for on May 12th. It went for $5.50 plus $4.50 shipping. And, um, okay, there was another one that was much higher, but it's a press proof. So, I don't know what to say about this card. Kind of feel like, oh, there's another one for $1.75, so kind of hard to figure out value on that one. Let's look at Paul Craig just to... So that's like that's like a green parallel. I might look that up. But I feel like her stuff is not really worth much. Johnny Walker, Nina Nunes, Rafael Asuncho, and Mitch. No. Here comes the. Uh, I don't know what that is because I don't think the AC is on right now, but... Oh, it's a sump pump. That's what that is. <laughs> All sorts of fun noises. Alright, let's look up... Um, I'm gonna look up this rose. Namajunas. Crunch time.
autographs of this card. And the autograph ones of these cards go for like a hundred bucks. That's Canadian, so that's like I don't know what. 60, 70 bucks USD. Um, Alright, well, there you go. There's some UFC for all you uh, fight fans. Tell me if I missed anything, but I don't know. It looks like I got a few things that are probably not going to be worth, you know, even selling because they kind of have to be worth more than like $4 to ship a card. Padded mail, mailer um, on eBay, and that's pretty much the only place I sell these days site, but I don't know if anybody wants to buy this whole stack of everything I pulled for like, well, I don't know what that would even go for, like 10, 10 bucks, would it even be a $10 lot of cards, you UFC fans tell me if it would be, and I'll list it on my site, so you can buy that, but you'd have to pay shipping, because all the orders on my site just have a standard shipping applied, unless you order over like, I don't know what it is, a hundred something dollars. So, I don't know, you'd have to be interested in some other stuff unless you wanted to pay an exorbitant shipping price for a $10 item, but, uh, I don't know. Let me know if you're interested and we'll figure out what we can do. Okay, well, that's all I got for today. Hope everybody's doing well. We'll catch you all.